The following interview is an excerpt of the Culture Creature podcast. You can find a link to the full episode in the description of this YouTube video. I'm Dan Redding, and in this clip, you'll hear me speaking with Penthouse Executive Editor Mish Barber Way. What do you think it means? What does it mean to you to be a feminist in the adult industry or the pornography industry? Yeah, that's that's a hard question to answer, and I don't know if I have like a tagline bumper sticker to to respond with. Um, Fair enough. It's funny. I I think a lot of I think there's a lot of assumed. You know, so for here's a good example. So recently, this guy, great guy named. Um, Eric Ducker did a profile on me for The Ringer and my work at Penthouse. And he wrote in the article, yeah, did you see at the end, though, how he was, he kind of was like, I can't help but but feel like the term Penthouse pet is yeah. offensive or submissive. And I think that's all, but that's all you're in a projection, right? Like, it, none of the girls who, the girls who get to be that are so proud. They are so stoked. Like, that is a they are like, yes, I, oh my God, I'm a penthouse pet. And so it's all, it's all perception, right? For me, if the girl is over the moon, mm-hmm. like, then that's great. And if some little, you know, like liberal arts school snob <laughs> who doesn't get it yeah. wants to feel that way, that's fine. I mean, look, I have a degree in gender studies and, and I feel like a lot of the things I was taught made me un unnecessarily miserable at looking at the world through this like over analytical deconstructing like everything means something view mm-hmm. that it's just kind of starts to become exhausting I sort of I'm not really I can't think like that anymore when you you know you start to grow up you're like I don't want to be upset about the world yeah <laughs> no thanks I understand there's problems. There always is going to be, but I'm also don't really want to walk around pissed off about things that exist. And I don't know. Anyways, that's a whole freaking tangent, but, but yeah, um, I don't know. It's, it's hard to, to describe what it means to be a feminist in this industry. I guess it means it's the same as what it means for me anywhere else. It's Mm -hmm. like, you know, I, I don't know. It's, it's, it's a it's a weird question to answer, and it's one that's always asked and always expected. And I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> okay. Why does it matter? Leave me alone. <laughs> you know, like, does it really matter? And I know. I understand that feminism fucking cool all of a sudden, and then everyone wants to talk about it. Mm-hmm. But where was that 15 years ago? When I was being made fun of constantly for having those kind of ideas. Crazy, but anyway. Let me try to comment the subject, not the subject of feminism, but of pornography from a, a different angle. You are um, also an accomplished interviewer. You've done a lot of interviews, and I want to ask you a question that you asked Camille sure. Paglia. Oh, I love her! My God. Yeah, that was a great interview. And your last so question. You want to know something? Yeah, go ahead. What was my best question? I just wanted to say I'm so honored. So. She- that interview we did is she's putting out a new book called, um, ah, what's it? What's it? I forget the name, but it's basically a huge anthology of a lot, a lot of her media and our interview together is the, what is at the end of the book. It's the last interview. And I'm just like, kiss my pants, excited <laughs> to be in her book. I mean, she, her writing changed my life and, and I, you know, I love that I get to be in her book. I'm going to be squealing like a little nerd. But anyways, what was the question that you liked that I asked her? Um, I liked it quite a bit, and it was also your final question to her, and it was a oh, kind yeah. of a, a nice summation or closer. You asked you asked her what value does pornography bring to sex and art? Yeah, yeah. What, how would you answer well, that? She's always- She's always been super pro porn. Um, I think I have a similar answer to her, and I think that's because I've just been so influenced by her school of thought. But I really, I think that the that it's this great outlet for, especially when a society is becoming more and more, um, I don't know what word you use, uptight or uncomfortable around. Yes. We're in a really interesting time right now because I feel like there's this whole, this really 
puritanical Victorian way of looking at sex and, and, and sexual interaction that's coming in, but it's also in conjunction with this overexposed, like, you know, sex, sex, sex in our face all the time, like mm-hmm. cam culture, this and that. And it's just like, there's this clash there. Um, you know, I think that erotic entertainment, it's, it's, it's sort of an interesting purpose. Like it's, it kind of knows no bounds and it throws something in your face that, you know, makes you feel a, a big, big chunk of different emotions. And I think when people try and overanalyze it and dig too deep in it, then it starts to get so complicated and just loses its, it just becomes not, it doesn't, it, it isn't what it was supposed to be anymore. It's not just adult enter, entertainment for adults with erotic and it's supposed to turn you on and make you want fuck, you know, like it just becomes this thing to, to pick apart and, and politicize. And that's just, that sucks. <laughs> but <laughs> her answer is the best. I mean, like, oh, she's, she's amazing. I love her so much. She's so funny. She's also one of the, you know, I mean, what I like about her and what always attracted me to her writing was that she never really, you know, she's an open lesbian who's, you know, never really had, who's been quite androgynous her whole career and her whole first book was about that, but she never lets her own, her own, um, position in the world as far as like sexual orientation and this and that get muddled up in her politics or in her theories or in her ideas. Like she's so able to remove herself from what she's studying or what she's trying to get to the bottom of. And I love that. I think that is something that's deeply missing today. Um, that's almost, yeah. yeah. I don't know. She's, it's, it's right. Like porn gets down to our most carnal and primitive, primal urges and and it's it's entertainment it's just supposed to spark those like very turn us on it's like a very just basic thing granted i also do think that everything in moderation and that it's not good to be sitting there in your basement refusing to talk to other people and just watching porn all day of course but that's another issue that we have to tackle 